Colbert, Speed of Cover Fashion Network. All right, so we have got a rough one today, guys. Mustang. Somebody decided to rattle can it. I'm not like completely against rattle can jobs. You guys know the beginning of my YouTube page. I did some pretty crazy rattle can jobs. You know, we did the flat paint, then we clear coated over top of it uh, with a uh, automotive grade clear coat. They look pretty good. Not this one, however. Uh, it's chipping everywhere. It's a mess. So we're gonna start with some 180 grit. Shout out to Speedo Coat. They helped me out really big with this car. They sent me some 180, 80, 320, 600, every grit I need to get this car done. They got it. I gotta say the 180 grit is bomb. I'm, I've used all of them. They're all freaking amazing. But the 180, it is gonna clip right through that mess we got in no time. So I'm gonna get a mask on. We're gonna go ahead and grab the Bayer sander. Put some Speedo Cut 180 grit on it, and let's just start hammering away at it. get a hundred percent of the uh, other stuff off of the car i've been going back and forth with myself literally for days now okay am i gonna primer seal it am i not gonna primer seal it the only reason why i am primer sealing this car slash priming the car is i got a lot of burn through spots uh, a lot of bare metal showing so i'm just gonna go ahead and just prime the whole car so we got some 1k sealer from speed as you guys know for rougher cars like these ones you know this is the bread and butter of my rougher paint jobs I don't, I don't seal every car. Not every car requires primer, but like I said, we got a lot of bare metal spots showing through, a lot of different colors going on. Just gonna seal the whole thing. Let's put some primer to the gun. Let's get shooting. I'm going to answer for you guys a commonly asked question, Marco, what type of activator do you use with the SMR42? And I'm going to answer for you guys right now. So the answer is fast. I always use fast. <laughs> so pretty much any any, any weather, uh, 80 degrees or uh, colder, um, I'm always using fast activator with this clear. Reason being is this, this clear coat, even with fast activator, is designed to dry slow, okay? We're talking 15 minute flash times minimum with this clear. Um, now, if you can, you can still use the medium activator one. Um, if you're looking for a more flow, you're looking for more flow in your clear coat, and you're looking for the clear coat to self-level out 
even uh, better than it would with Fast Activator. Um, however, you guys know my method. I mix it up 10 minutes before I spray it, smack it on there, super wet, two super wet coats, and I still get a pretty good glass finish. There you guys have it, $400 paint job. Started with two coats of the 1K sealer. First coat, I went really, really light because we did have a lot of different colors. Uh, not everything was 100% sanded. We didn't fully strip the surface. As you guys know, putting urethane reducer over, you know, blotchy areas and stuff like that, sometimes they create, create those halos in your paint job. We got absolutely zero halos um, by doing that first coat of sealer really light. And then we followed it up with a medium coat of sealer, got everything fully covered. This base coat, I wasn't really happy with it. Um, the metallics in the base coat were really chunky. And that to me says cheap. Thicker metallics that aren't as refined are cheaper for manufacturers to get. They dump these in the base coat just to make, just to reduce the cost. And what you're gonna notice is your first coat of clear, it's going to look like there's a million specks of dust in your paint job. It is not the dust. It is the thicker metallic flakes in your paint itself that is sticking up through your clear coat. So was not really happy about that. The coverage was pretty good as far as the color goes, but wasn't really happy with the paint. So in turn to fix that problem, we went ahead and we dumped almost a full gallon of the Speedo Coat SMR42 clear on it, which did resolve the problem. First coat, we went pretty soaking wet. And then the second coat, I, I after the first coat, I let it flash off really long, about 15 to 20 minutes, because I didn't want to get runs. Um, the second coat we dumped on even wetter, um, and uh, we got a pretty good result. No, didn't have any metallics popping through on the second coat of clear. As you guys know, my method, I mix up the SMR42 clear about 10 to 15 minutes before I spray it. Spray that stuff on there, sobbing wet and we still got zero runs. This is one classic situation, guys, where it does pay to get a more expensive clear coat. The SMR42, I think they lowered the price to 150 for the medium activator kit. It just, it always pays off because when you run into these types of problems with really cheap freaking eBay metallic base coats and the metallics are popping through, your lower solids clears are not gonna save you. The SMR42 gets the job done. Um, it really can make these cheaper, you know, two to $3,000 paint jobs really pop. Anyways, that wraps it up. Like, subscribe, new videos every week.